Good morning guys. Welcome back and happy Saturday. I'm on a walk with the girls. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Jared's at home. Um, he sleeps in on Saturdays because he has class. Summer classes Monday through Friday early in the morning. So um, I just kind of wanted to talk today about how I'm trying to, I'm like out of breath. This is really hard with her strapped to me. Anyway, I kind of just wanted to talk today how I'm trying to um, switch up. Oh my gosh, there's bugs everywhere. I can't do this. Much, much later in the day, me and Jared went to the gym and we went to Costco. And I think the main point of this vlog that I just wanted to kind of sit down and talk about was that I just have some new goals for myself and the routine that I wanna be having throughout the day. So I'll just kind of explain what I was doing before and why it really was not working for me at all. So I got kind of stuck in this rut of wanting to wait until Jared got home from work so that we could hang out, but he's a server and he works nights. And so sometimes he doesn't get home till like 11 or 12 o'clock, like at the latest. Um, and so I was going to bed super late, but I wake up with Lila anywhere between like 6 and 7.30 in the morning. And she's also like waking up throughout the night. So what I found was that obviously when I wake up at six or seven, I'm just exhausted, like, really, really tired. And so I would end up kind of bringing Lila into bed, feeding her and I would turn some cartoons on in for her to watch and I would fall back asleep. And then by the time I woke up, she would basically eat breakfast and go down for a nap and I would go back to sleep till like 11. And then I would be waking up at 11 at the same time that she was waking up. And so I could never make it to the gym in time before the childcare closes because I would have to get her ready and me ready and I would have to eat something and I was just like, like I would never get ready for the day and go do anything. I was just kind of like exhausted all the time and lounging around and I was so mad that I was never making it to the gym. Like that's something that's really important to me. It's something that gets me out of the house and I mean when I say I'm going to the gym like once a week, if you know me, that's driving me insane. Um, so basically the two kind of bedtime sleep oriented goals that I have are one, I'm just gonna go to bed earlier. Um, Lila's in bed for the night at seven o'clock. So I can kind of have a couple of hours to myself, eat dinner, maybe get a couple things picked up and I can still kind of have like a wind down routine before bed, which is another thing that I wanna start kind of implementing because I was always just, I would go to bed super late and be on my phone for a while and I never quite had like a routine to get myself wound down before bed. So I just wanna get myself in bed earlier so that when I do wake up with Lila at seven in the morning, I can actually get up and feel well rested. So this morning I woke up with her at about seven or 7.30 and instead of bringing her to my bed, I just got right out of bed and immediately made coffee, <laughs> which was hard today because I still went to bed really late last night, but I was just like, this is just gonna be a never ending cycle unless I break it right now. So I woke up, made coffee right away and then immediately took Luna and Lila out for a, like a 15, 20 minute walk. That was it. But um, another reason I wanted to do this is because the days are flying by and Lila's only gonna be a baby like one time and I felt like I was missing the entire morning with her because of the way that I was just like laying around and ba I mean, I would basically sleep through the morning. Like even if she was playing in her room, I would legitimately fall asleep on the floor. So it felt like I was missing that whole like two hour block and when there's only so many hours in a day where she's not napping when she's actually awake, I was starting to feel really bad that I was like missing that whole morning. Um, 
So that's kind of another reason why I really wanted to kind of switch that routine up. Um, so just to kind of recap that, my new goals as far as the routine goes is to be in bed earlier in the night with a bedtime routine for myself. And I think that's just going to be like a shower and... I don't know, maybe a little bit of Instagram. I, I do like to watch TV. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like a TV addict. I love watching YouTube videos and <laughs> Netflix series and stuff. So I probably will be watching TV as part of my bedtime routine, but um, just to kind of do a couple things, maybe have like a cup of tea or I don't know, um, write down goals for the next day. Just a couple of things to wind down and signal to my brain that the day is over and then it's time to relax and go to sleep. And then waking up early and getting my coffee in and out of the house right away to kind of set, um, set myself up for success for the morning and for the rest of the day. And like that way it really worked out today. Hey! It really worked out today because like since I was already ready and ate and everything while she took her nap when she woke up we were able to just go right to the gym so i was able to actually get a workout in um i always told myself i wanted to go like five times a week and i think a more realistic goal for me right now is three um but that's way better than one so i think as long as i can tell myself i'd like to go three times a week um that's something i, I it's definitely doable i just had to get this routine kind of figured out um, and the third just little goal that I have is to put my phone away while she's awake. And I know I'm not going to be able to do that 100%, but like I was saying earlier, she's only awake for so many hours and there's only so, there's only so many hours in the day that I have with her. So if I can just put my phone in another room, like with the volume up in case somebody were to call me, I think that's like really important to me because you know when you catch yourself like compulsively opening the same app and closing it and reopening it over and over and over again even though like you get bored of the app and so you close out of it but then you just open it again and kind of like all compulsively scroll without even really knowing what I'm scrolling past like I, I'm not even like reading anything it's just like and during times like when she's eating dinner and I'm sitting there or when she's taking a bath and she's like splashing around I would find myself just sitting on my phone so I want to be there for all those things because it's freaking funny to watch her splash around in the bath and eat big people food so that's another one of the goals if I want to take pictures of her or videos of her I have this camera that I can do that with so I mean that's not really an excuse for me um, if I want to post something of her I can get it off the camera later um, I just don't want to have my phone on me all the time because I, I will compulsively scroll it and I wish that I just had the self-control and the discipline to just put it down and I try like when I notice I'm doing it I'll put it down but five minutes later I'm opening like Instagram or Facebook back up again so anyway that's just a recap of the goals that I have and the things that I really want to change um, early bedtime bedtime routine early wake up get myself out of the house and to the gym three times a week and putting my phone away during important times where she's awake so I can be more present with her. Um, yeah. I hope this encourages somebody else to do the same. Like if you're finding yourself in a rut and you're just like, this is not working for me. Um, don't think that you're stuck in that rut. You can change some things and you can do it today. Like today was really hard because I was still really tired, but I've had a second cup of coffee. Can you tell? <laughs> um, but today was really hard, but I knew I just had to to do it um there was no way that i could really set myself up for the perfect opportunity to change so that's what i did today and i hope you guys are inspired to do the same if you just know you're not in the place that you want to be so yeah how was that show lila do you want mommy to hang out with you more look at this new freaking skill i'm so proud of you i get so nervous i don't even want to move my hand because she's oh! Because she's fallen over before and she's in like that head bonking stage where she's like learning all this new stuff and makes me nervous and she also finally has a tooth. If you've been following me on Instagram and my other YouTube videos, like every time she has like a fussy couple of days, I'm like, oh my god, she's for sure teething. And like I don't know if she ever was, but finally a few days ago I was like, okay, if this isn't teething... I don't know what is like I could finally tell for sure that she was teething and she finally poked one through on her bottom gums so 
I feel like that's only exciting to moms, but if you care that my daughter is getting a tooth now, you're welcome. Hey. Hi. <laughs> wow, that. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Look at those eyes of yours. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. You're so beautiful and so smart and strong. Okay, I'm afraid you're gonna fall. Mommy. Peek a boo. <laughs> yeah. Can I have a high five? Yeah, good job. Kiss, please. Oh, thank you. Well guys, I think that's it. I'm just gonna wrap it up right there. Um, pretty simple vlog, I guess. Um, I'm gonna spend the night with Lila. Um, it's Saturday, which apparently I've dictated as do all the laundry in one day, day. So I'm gonna finish that up um, once I get her in bed for the night. And tomorrow I'm gonna be filming my Sunday meal prep. Thank you guys so much for watching if you were interested in how my life was going and how I'd like to change it. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please like it and if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, that's very close. <laughs>